Since I talk about so many indie games on this channel, I thought it was finally time to sit down and make a list of the ones I'm most excited for. This was pretty tricky, but I think I've narrowed things down to 10 games that I want to play the most. So let's go. Now, this list is not in any kind of order, but I am putting Somerville first because it's coming out in a few days, on November 14th. This is a pretty mysterious sci-fi adventure and is the first game by Jump Ship Studios, which was founded by the ex-CEO of Playdead. A lot of people are saying this game is going to be similar to Inside and Limbo, but the developers have specifically stated that this is not a cinematic platformer. There will be 3D elements to the world and plenty of action. There's some story here about an alien invasion and the intimate repercussions of large-scale conflict. But things have been kept pretty vague so we can all experience this story and adventure for the first time next week. Okay, every game after this point is either coming out next year or doesn't have a date nailed down yet. Next, we have Skate Story. Created by solo developer Sam Ang, you take on the seemingly impossible quest of skating through the underworld and defeating various demons. I always love a good movement-based sports game like this, but Skate Story also has the style to go with its gameplay. The world here is surreal, but not quite lonely, as there will be characters for you to meet and help out along your own personal journey. But the cherry on top of this one is that the music is being made by Blood Cultures. They've got a wonderful, dreamy, and psychedelic sound that fits the visuals perfectly, and I can't wait to sit back and unwind while I'm kickflipping to my heart's content. Nivalis is the perfect game for anyone who wants to explore a futuristic cyberpunk city without all the action and chaos of some other popular games in the genre. Your goal is to work your way up from opening a noodle stand to owning all the restaurants and nightlife in the city. This is a life sim game, so there will be plenty of activities like fishing, growing crops to use in your business, upgrading and decorating your apartment, and getting to know the citizens of Nivalis. Ion Lands, the studio creating this one, are already masters at creating atmospheric voxel cityscapes like this one, so I have no doubts that this game will become like a second home to a lot of players. Their first game was Cloudpunk, which is set in the same city and has you play as a delivery driver who zooms around in a flying car. You won't have access to a hava, as they're called, in this game, but I'd recommend playing Cloudpunk if any of this sounds at all interesting to you. Now it's time for a classic style 3D platformer. The Big Catch just finished up its Kickstarter campaign a few weeks ago and was able to meet all of its stretch goals. So the dev team has a lot of work to do, but they already have a really neat looking foundation. You play as Caster, an acrobatic fisherman who works at a restaurant and has to go out and catch ingredients for his boss. As the name suggests, you'll be doing a lot of fishing in this game. But the fishing pole isn't just a gimmick that goes along with the restaurant theme. The Big Catch has a very creative and fluid looking movement system that lets you use your rod to hook onto things in the environment. What's even cooler is that the game world will be completely open for you to explore. A lot of 3D platformers like this are made up of levels, but this game will let you roam around and progress at your own pace as you surf the sands of an expansive and mysterious desert. Chef RPG is a game I've been following for a while but haven't made a dedicated video about yet. Honestly, you can learn everything you need to know on Pixel Architect's YouTube channel, where the game creator posts devlogs, pixel art time lapses, and game design tutorials. Chef RPG is a top-down cooking RPG inspired by games like Stardew Valley and Eastward. The thing that originally drew me in was the unique combination of sci-fi technology placed into a quaint seaside town. The creator's goal for this one is to focus on the adventure, exploration, and character development rather than stressing the player out with decisions like, which ingredients should I harvest today? Or do I have enough time to do this before the end of the day or the end of the season? So this isn't just Stardew Valley with a bigger focus on cooking. Chef RPG is a true RPG, which is more about choice and less about the consequences of making the wrong decisions. Now, I don't want to pick favorites here, but Harold Halibut has recently made its way to my number one pick for the game I'm looking forward to most. And how could it not earn that title? This is a quirky adventure game about a group of people who live on a giant spaceship that has crash-landed in the ocean on an alien planet. 
Your goal is to find a way to get the ship up and running and figure out more about the weird creatures that have contacted you. Oh, and if you didn't notice already, the game has an amazing handcrafted style, and that's because every single item and character in Harold Halibut has been created in the real world and then scanned into the game engine. With 8 hours of fully voiced and motion captured scenes and 10 years of development time, this is going to be one special game. For fans of metroidvanias and puzzles, Animal Well might be right up your alley. You'll explore a dense, interconnected labyrinth and unravel its many secrets. Just remember, there's more than what you see. Billy Basso, the game's creator, aims to make an experience for everyone, from casual gamers to those who go for 100% completion, to people who will work together with other players for years to come in order to uncover some of the game's most hidden secrets. Everything about this game is wrapped in a mystery, from the creatures you'll meet to the strange glowing world. There will be items for you to collect, doors to unlock, and puzzles to solve, so you better get your magnifying glass out for this one. The Altars is the next title coming to us from 11-Bit Studios, the creators of Frostpunk and This War of Mine. Based on that, I think we can expect some form of strategy and management, but we don't know much besides that. Your character's name is Jan, and he wakes up in a space station, only to find out that it's inhabited by a bunch of his own clones, or Altars. The game's tags on Steam describe it as story-rich, emotional, and psychological, so it seems like we'll have to make some tough decisions. I'm very curious to see some gameplay for this one and to meet some of the alters, all which have their own personalities, strengths, and weaknesses. Be ready to ask yourself, what if, with this game. Now, Bloody Hell Hotel might be the most ambitious game on this list. Seriously, Unfold Games even tweeted this trailer saying, We're trying to create the most ambitious first-person simulation game in the genre. You'll play as one of six different vampire classes as you restore and upgrade your mansion from a ruined estate to a bustling and profitable hotel. Cook recipes, tend to your guests every need, and explore the dungeons below your feet. Or, you know, do what vampires do best. Just don't get caught or that might tank your hotel's ratings. The team at Unfold Games are very active on the game's Discord server and are even taking player suggestions for features to add into the game. So at this stage, anything is possible. I just hope that the team doesn't get in over their heads and try to cram too much in because I really want this one to succeed. And finally, a game without a name or a trailer the sequel to Ghost of a Tale. One of the first videos on my channel was about this game, and I honestly was hoping that we'd have heard more from the developers by now. Ghost of a Tale is a stealth adventure that came out in 2018 and has gained a very dedicated fanbase. You play as a small mouse named Tilo who's on a quest to save his wife. I'll just say that the story ends on a pretty big cliffhanger, so fans are very eager to see what happens next. I'm most looking forward to exploring every nook and cranny of the imaginative and fantastical world that the team dreams up. So if you're all about exploration and discovery, charming characters, and a very cute mouse, please go play Ghost of a Tale while we wait for more news. And there you have it. I've already talked about all these games on my channel aside from Chef RPG, which is coming soon. So if you want to know more about any of them, that could be a good place to start. As always, go wishlist the games you found interesting, follow the developers on social media, and show them some love. If you want to get in touch with some other people who love indie games just as much as you do, then come on over to the NoCaps Discord server. We'd love to have you.